In this hopefully brief video, I just want to re remind you of this term absolute value as it applies to numbers that are just real numbers, and then make a transition to understanding absolute value in the complex plane. So absolute value in terms of real numbers is just the distance from zero on the number line. A lot of students say that they think it means, you know, it just makes everything positive. Well, yeah, it has that effect, but that breaks down when we go to the complex number system. So you really want to view it as distance. That's the best way to think of absolute value. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3 because the distance from 0, that uh, the distance that negative 3 is from 0 is 3. The distance 4 is from 0 is 4, so the absolute value of 4 is 4. So in the complex number system, we're going to view the same, uh, we're going to use the same sort of definition. It's, it's a measurement of distance. But uh, since in the real, in the complex plane, we have both the real axis and the imaginary axis, the distance from zero doesn't quite make sense. We're going to say the distance from the origin zero, 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 or zero plus zero i, which would be the origin in the complex plane. So in this example, we'll, we'll find the absolute value of two minus five i. So let's plot two minus five i. There's two and minus 5i would be here. So 2 minus 5i is right here. And so the distance from 0 would just be this distance right here. And we can find that easy enough because we can make a triangle. And in our triangle we have that side being 2 and this side being negative 5. So notice I don't put negative 5i here, right? Because we're, we're viewing the i's as like units. It's like I took five, uh, I went five blocks south. You don't, you don't, uh, I mean, I guess you wouldn't, that doesn't, that analogy doesn't quite hold up. But the point is, um, we don't need to, to put the i, we don't need to label this side of the triangle with an i. Just treat it as a regular old triangle. And so Pythagorean theorem tells us that we call that c, we get that 29 is equal to c squared, and so uh, 29, root 29 equals c. So the absolute value of 2 minus 5i, its distance from 0, or from the origin, is equal to root 29. Okay, um, quick note about conjugates. If I take this uh, 2 minus 5i, then its conjugate would be its conjugate would be 2 plus 5i. So what are the, what's the importance of conjugates? Well, watch what happens when you multiply two uh, a complex number and its conjugate together. If I do 2 minus 5i. times 2 plus 5i, then I get, let's see, I want to distribute, then I get 2 minus 5i times 2 plus 2 minus 5i times 5i. And therefore, now I can distribute again each piece, and what I get is 4 minus 10i plus 10i. Negative 5 times negative 5 is negative 25. i times i is i squared, which is negative 1, so I get a plus 25. And negative 10i plus 10i cancel. And that is the thing that happens when you multiply a complex number times its conjugate. The imaginary parts go away. And you get 29. So, there's, a, there's actually an interesting relationship, if you'll notice, between the, compl the absolute value of a complex number and its conjugates. And so I'll leave it to you to figure out what that relationship is. Um, but the, the idea is that multiplying conjugates has the effect of eliminating the imaginary part. 
All right. And so just let me give you another example of a complex number and its conjugate. 4 plus i, its conjugate would be 4 minus i. Okay, so it's, uh, it's and I guess in general, let's see what I'd say this in general. Let's go up here in general. If that's a complex number, then it's conjugate is a minus bi.